If you know what we play in the flute is made up of a series of harmonics. Um, and this goes together to give us our tone quality. And the more harmonics that we can have present in our tone, the better our sound will be, the better our intonation will be, and a better understanding that we'll have of how to use the ear to create different colours in our playing. It's kind of like how all the colours of the rainbow mix together to get white. There are three components that you need to get your harmonics together and help you practice them. So we're going to look at these one at a time. All right, number one is ear direction. So let's split this up. Um, find yourself a decent low note. So I'd quite like to just start on a C, but if you don't feel comfortable with a C, use any of your sort of low octave notes. They work anywhere. Um, so find yourself a decent sound. And then use your bottom jaw to lift the ear up gradually. So you want to keep a consistent ear speed at this stage because we're going to separate that out later. It's best to just try and keep your top lip in one position to do this. So I'm not suggesting that this is how we're going to play. Um, of course, we need more flexibility here, but this is how we're going to just learn about this concept here. If this is new to you, have a look at uh, my video on slurred octaves where I explain that a little bit more in depth. Or if you have a Numo Pro, um, use that to practice as well, because that's a great visual to do that. I've got a video on that too. Um, I'll put the link in the blog down below if you're not sure what a Numo Pro is. Number two is air speed. Um, and this time we're going to keep our embouchure fixed. Um, and we're going to increase the speed of the ear using our abdominal muscles and gradually pushing faster ear through the flute until the note changes. So back to your low note. You might need to take a breath in the middle because obviously you're shifting a lot of air. Remember, we're trying to keep our embouchure absolutely still at this point so we can focus on this as well. Try not to tighten your lips to do this. Switch the air on by increase it, using your abdominal muscles to increase the air speed. Right, let's put those two together. So we're using air speed and air direction. So now we're going to be a little bit more flexible with our embouchure. We're going to gradually increase the speed of the ear and hopefully if we can get those two to coincide at the right point when the note changes, we'll get some really beautiful harmonics. So you can go up higher than that. If you like, keep going up and down. Try to control where the notes are changing and try to make sure that they're not changing by chance and that you are exactly clear when you're making these tiny micro movements and hitting the right ear speed for these. The third thing that you'll need for your harmonics is patience because you're going to have to repeat these numerous times in order to get used to where they live on your flute. Every flute is different, every flute player is different. And um, if you do them on a daily basis, they will improve dramatically very quickly. I use this as a brilliant warm up for those days where I just can't quite get my tone going. Um, it's such a quick fix, um, but definitely adding it in to your practice will add more colors and resonance into your tone. Um, it makes a big difference. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and let me know how you have got on with your harmonics and let me know of any questions.